Hey guys, Oblivion 903 here once again, and this is the seventh and final part of my Resident Evil 2 Leon Air playthrough. Uh, as you can remember from the last part, uh, we pretty much finished off the lab section of the game. Um, things have really hit the fan now, the self-destruct sequence has been activated, so it's time for us to get the hell out of here. Uh, but not without one final battle uh, with William Birkin, which we're going to be taking care of very, very soon. Um, I've got to say, absolutely love this game. Uh, Leon A is probably my favourite scenario overall out of any of them. And it's really cool to play this again. I um, really enjoyed it for you guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as well. Um, I'll be doing uh, Leon B and Claire A and B as well. As well as the uh, rest of the Resident Evil uh, chronological series and timeline. Everything that they've done as well. So... Yeah, I'm just going to leave you with the final battle which I'm going to be getting on with now. And then um, we're going to be finishing up the game uh, very, very shortly. Uh, as you can see, William Birkin is about to break out of uh, the roof. Here we go, there he is there. Right, so what I'm going to do first is keep away from him rather than running too close. And um, I'm basically just going to start unloading my magnum as he should be coming towards me. However, I can't see him. There we go, oh, he was on uh, coming towards me, he's on the right track. And now he's uh, mutated into his final form, uh, which sort of more resembles like a dog-like behaviour. Um, he's going to start jumping around the uh, cylinders, as you can see, to the side of him. He's going to start jumping on those platforms, but it shouldn't be um, too much of an issue, though. To sort of stay out his way, I've got a few um, herbs in there, first aid sprays, just in case, as you can see. So, things should be okay. Just going to uh, stock up on ammo there. Right, he's directly above me as you can see. Should be able to get a couple of magnum shots in before he's going to jump down. He's going to hit me there. But uh, not to worry, I sort of expected that and um, gave him room to do that. Just so I could get those couple of magnum shots in. There we go, he's got a, uh, another shot in me there. Um, I'm just going to use a herb. I don't think I'm going to need many more than that to be fair. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm not going for any sort of speed run or use of herbs. There we go, that is um, William Birkin defeated. Uh, for the final time. Uh, there we go, that's him taken care of. I've got to say, the boss on the B scenarios are a damn sight harder than that one. Uh, this is fairly straightforward uh, compared to that one, which um, if you check out the videos when they go live, uh, you'll obviously see it. But coincidentally enough, now that I've defeated uh, William Birkin, the lift has now arrived for us to get out of here. So I'm going to head towards that. And um, right, let's get out of this game. Let's end this. And, well... <laughs> Pretty much says, oh, let's just get the hell out of here. There's not much else to say about it. Never think that sort of looks like we're going diagonally down rather than straight down. I don't know if we are not to tell you the truth, but that sort of animation's always been a bit weird to me. But right, just heading through here, I don't think there's any more enemies. I think that is literally it for the game now. There's the train, which coincidentally is moving. Um, however, it wasn't when we first went. But um, I'm sure Claire could have waited a second for us. Right, so there we go, that is the Leon A playthrough finally over. Uh, once again, I've got to say that I absolutely enjoyed that, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, but I'm just going to leave you with the end credits now, you can all skip them if you like, but um, they're here if you want them anyway, so I'm just going to leave you with these before we get to the ending part with the time and uh, the rank that I got. Um, however, I just want to point out, I've noted it throughout, that I'm not going for any sort of special speed run times, I'm not sort of holding back on using herbs and that probably is a good thing is um it hasn't been my best player through in terms of getting bit by zombies but we've got through the game with no major problems so it's all good but um, like i said not going for any sort of speed run just sort of playing through the game for fun 
And um, hopefully we did quite well, though. I'm not totally sure how well we did, because obviously I've stopped and um, talked about things uh, with the game time running. Obviously, I haven't been worried about it for that reason. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's see how it turns out. But like I said, I'm just going to leave you with these credits. You can skip them if you want. Um, but if not, I'll see you on the other side. Right, so there we have it, that is the credits over, that is the game officially completed. I'm just going to have a look at my playtime now, my overall rank. Like I said, it wasn't going for any sort of speed run, so I don't know how this is going to turn out, but let's have a look. So 221, that's actually not bad. B ranking, right, um, I don't tend to go for any sort of specific rankings, I don't aim for them, I don't think I've ever actually done a playthrough on the basis that I'm going to um, achieve any sort of special rank or anything, so I've got to say that's pretty good. That was pretty good for me. I think um, if I tried, I probably could actually do it. I could probably hit the S rank, and I think it is the highest. I think you've got to do it in like an hour and a half, maybe no saves or something. But um, yeah, that's something I definitely could try. Um, definitely open to doing that. Uh, seeing that time's actually given me a bit of inspiration to do so because I did. Oh, I've unlocked the rocket launcher. Sweet. Um, I don't think I've ever unlocked the rocket launcher. Like I said, I've never went for these speed ones, so I've never actually unlocked this before. This is the first time, and it's captured on YouTube, which is awesome. But, yeah, like I said, I think I could probably achieve the S rank, and if I tried, um, seeing that's definitely gave me inspiration to do so, especially because it wasn't my best run, and I actually spent a lot of time in-game with the time running, talking to you guys, obviously introducing videos, etc, etc. So that's quite cool. So I'm going to uh, conclude this video here, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the series. Uh, please check out the other scenarios in the game. I'm going to be doing the whole chronological timeline. It'll probably take a while, but obviously if you're watching this in the future, then who knows, it could all be up. But it's going to take a long time. There's a lot of Resident Evil games out there, and it is probably my favourite series of all time. Uh, I've played pretty much all of them. Um, there's one or two bits that I haven't played before or not finished all the way through, so I'm going to be excited to do them too. So hopefully you'll check them out also and we'll enjoy the whole fun that is Resident Evil together. So until then guys, bye for now.